Uh, thank you, guys. Christmas can be, uh, you know, the happiest time of the year and all giving and all that, but with the added expectation of presenting the perfect day and making magical memories for family, parents can crack under that pressure. Now, life coach and mum of seven, Hannah Keeley, is busy using her background in behavioural therapy and neuroscience to help parents spot the warning signs. Mum, coach and parenting and lifestyle expert Hannah Keeley joins us now live out of Virginia. Welcome to the show. What is the most common mistake parents make around Christmas time, would you say? You know, I really think it's just the unrealistic expectations. We tend to think we have to do everything and, and make sure all the best presents get out there. And sometimes that can really weigh down on us and cause a lot of stress. And then it also sets us up for potential disappointment and no one needs that around Christmas. Okay, so do as I do, don't aim for perfection, just good enough. <laughs> yeah, but that's the hardest thing for moms to do sometimes, you know, especially around the holidays because mm. we have such such a bar that we feel like we need to fit. So you really have to check your feelings and say, why am I doing this? Mm. Why the urgency? Why does it have to be critical? Maybe I could focus more on what I believe about it instead of what I can accomplish. Now, some parents bribe their kids to keep them in line at this time of year, right? What does yeah. that do to behave? Does it actually help behaviour? Never, never does that. And, and I call that desperate parenting. Desperate parenting happens when you feel like the challenge in front of you when you're raising your children is bigger than the skill set you have as a parent. That's why I really believe investing in your own growth and your skill in parenting is one of the best investments any mom or dad could make. Okay, now you say it's really important for parents to find time for themselves during the holidays. How do you do that? It's so busy. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. So, right? Good luck. It, it's so overwhelming. It's like every day is just packed full. But it's only packed full if you allow it. A again, look at the critical nature. Why do you have to do everything? And you have to be intentional. No one's going to come to mom and say, Mom, you really need to take a few days. Like, just hang out. I'll make you some hot chocolate. Never happens. We have to make it happen. And it's okay. You don't have to be a martyr mom and do everything. Be intentional about setting aside time for yourself. Yeah, maybe just saying, I'm just going for a walk now and, and take that walk <laughs> at, you know, 4.30 in the afternoon. Speaking of being... Take a walk, lock to the yourself airport, in the bathroom, the whatever it takes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One way ticket. Speaking of being busy, Christmas can be stressful. What causes uh, parental stress and how do you tackle it? How do you tackle the stress? Um, Again, it's the overwhelm, like you mentioned, is a big part of it. But also, I think Christmas, um, holidays seem to be a magnifier, which means everything that's good in your life feels so much better, but everything bad really feels horrible. And so you have to understand, it may not be as big as I'm making it. The stress that I'm, I'm feeling in my body is just telling me that something's mm. wrong. And it could be, I thought it would look different than it looks right now. So just have a lot of compassion with yourself. Again, give yourself time and process everything. It may not be as bad as you think. It may be an opportunity to have a lot of fun. Okay, now you say parents also fall victim to letting social media influence the holiday. Uh, Kylie's probably gonna spend her time uh, doing David Beckham frog squats over Christmas. But uh, <laughs> how, how difficult or is it important is it to watch what we watch on social media and how that impacts us? It's so difficult because when you're scrolling on social media, you're seeing all the games that you can play with your kids and all the great gifts to give and all the wonderful decorations that you need to put up. And all of a sudden you feel like less and less of a mom, right? You're not achieving what you think you should achieve. And here's a weird little tip I have. Sometimes we can't help but scroll because our mom brain needs a little bit of relief, right? So whenever you scroll, just set an alarm. Like you can just tell your phone, set an alarm for 15 minutes. But when it goes off, get off social media and just do a quick check. Am I stressed? Do I feel better or worse than I did when I got on? Oh, and it may help you temper that a little bit. I like the alarm idea. That's a really good idea. Yeah, I have mm. velvet bow envy this year. Everyone's got these beautiful velvet bows. Uh -huh. I don't have them and I'm, uh -huh. I'm very envious. Yeah, I'll I'm get so you a sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Organising, I will get over it. Organising celebrations can be overwhelming. Uh, how do you stay on top of everything? Or don't you? That, is that um, the I tip? Well, yeah, well, you can, but you again, you have to take measures to do it. So I like to calendarize everything. And here's what I mean by that. I don't mean like stick everything on a calendar and be overwhelmed. I mean, sit down with your family and think about what do you want to experience this holiday? What do you want to feel this holiday? Don't just think, what do we have to do? It might be you want to feel more connected. Therefore, you know, stay home, watch a movie in your pajamas, that kind of thing. But mm -hmm. be intentional about creating and calendarizing 
the things that will create what you really desire to feel and how you want to experience the holidays. All right, Hannah, really great information. Um, thank you for staying up sort of late for us. And as you go to bed tonight, if you wouldn't mind just saying a little prayer for Kylie and her velvet bow. Um, we appreciate your time. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that, absolutely. This is, so this much. Is, this is important. Great, yeah, great to talk to you, Hannah. That was good, good Thanks, stuff. Hannah. Thank you. We're back with more of the morning Thanks. show after this.